Let's take a look at another absolute value inequality or other type. And uh, let me write the, form, the, pro, the problem down here. Let's see, absolute value of 4x minus 2 is less than 8. Now this is the other case. It's uh, got a less than on it. Again, this this uh, symbol right here dictates which which case you use. If it's a greater than, it's a, the second one. If it's a less than, it's this first one. Now your uh, p is what's inside the absolute value, or q is the other side. And our formula for this says we're going to plug in a negative q is less than p is less than q. Again, if this had been less than or equal to, these would both be less than or equal to's. So everywhere there's a, a p, we'll plug in 4x minus 2, and everywhere there's a, a q, we'll plug in 8. So I've got negative 8 is less than 4x minus 2 is less than 8. Now this is our compound inequalities with three sides, and we want to get x by itself in the middle. So I'm going to take the negative 2 over the other two sides. Becomes a negative 8 plus 2. Anytime you take a number over or anything across the inequality symbol, the sign changes. So negative 2 becomes a positive 2. Our note says that any step combined together numbers, negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. 8 plus 2 there gives us 10. And the last thing to get the x by itself in the middle is we've got to divide everything by 4. So I'll divide everything by 4. And those 4 is going to cancel there. And negative 6 fourths reduces the top and bottom both divisible by 2, so it gives us negative 3 halves. And 10 fourths, uh, top and bottom both divisible by 2, so it gives us 5 halves. And that's our answer.